Okay, hi everybody. Hello. Um, we said let's do a, a transit video. We've uh, never done any videos on transit. I think we just did one video on Saturn transit. And um, we were, we're going to do more videos on transits. Okay. And what I want to say is today, me and Santip are going to, Dr. Kanoli, Santip Krishnan, we are going to do, uh, we're going to talk about two transits which are happening currently. We have a transit which is happening uh, with Venus. And Venus is going to move into Libra. And uh, Mercury will also be moving into Scorpio. And Venus is moving into Libra uh, tomorrow, which is uh, 3rd of November. And it's going to, we're going to talk about what the Rashi and also talk about some themes related to the nakshatras. Now, first, first of all, I want to say these are very generic readings that we're going to do. And many of the themes might manifest and many of the themes might not manifest because it depends also when you look at transits, we have to look at transits uh, with specific to, uh, you know, an individual chart and that gives you greater insights. But you would get to know the process of how transits operate and how they activate certain houses or certain rashis and then we can uh, delve into it. So uh, welcome Dr. Kanoli Sanjit Krishna. Um, you know, it's always a pleasure to do these videos with you. So what have we got today to tell us about this Venus transit? I think Venus is going to move into uh, Chitra Nakshatra third Pada on the 3rd of November. And then um, it's also going to move into Swati Nakshatra on uh, the 9th of November. And then it is finally going to move into Vishaka on the 19th and it will be transiting into um, Scorpio on the 27th of November. So let us look, this is predominantly and see how Venus is going to work when it moves into Libra. So Santip, what do you have to tell us about Venus? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Pai. Uh, it's always an honor coming to your channel and uh, sharing whatever information we are sharing. Uh, we'll just look into the uh, transit of Venus into Libra. Uh, it's very interesting transit because Venus will be moving to Libra, as you mentioned, on November three, basically tomorrow in Indian time. But uh, and first, you know, it's uh, so Venus has been in its debilitation Rashi for the past month or so in Virgo. So now it is moving towards the Mulatrikon Rashi of Venus, which is Libra. And uh, so whatever uh, Venusian uh, energies that were dampened was in Virgo Rashi, which, which could be, which could, which could be turned as the uh, practical side of relationships or even calculating side of relationships, which is not really what Venus is all about. But now Venus is moving towards Libra, which is more about the, which is it's Mulatrikon Rashi. So it should feel much more comfortable right now. So all the relationships in our life will begin to make some more sense. Um, will begin to be more, uh, you know, you can actually begin to enjoy a relationship, which is what actually Venus is all about. Uh, An interesting thing is that Venus is already moving to um, a sign which is occupied by Jupiter. So that is also going to bring an interesting dynamic because Jupiter is the law. You know, Jupiter is the legal side of things. You have Venus also uh, bringing in, uh, coming to the Rashi. And uh, so Jupiter will feel supported by Venus now. But even though they are enemies to each other, the agendas will be different. But uh, now I think uh, there should be more uh, expansion of arts, culture, social activities, more parties, huge weddings. Or uh, movies, things of that nature. More people will be attending movies, things of that nature. Um, and then, you know, people will be spending more money on Venusian things for sure, like shoes, clothes, luxury items, because Jupiter is also going to expand Venusian energy. Um, so that is one thing with the, on the Rashi side. And because Venus is in its Mulatrikon Rashi, 
uh, it should also be uh, somewhat comfortable for Venus, so people would feel some sense of relief because of the uh, you know winning to its own sign. So already we had the world almost you know the media was reporting the world war about to almost when could feel that kind of effect uh, already before. So it seems like now more diplomacy should uh, come into place and there should be more uh, willingness to compromise and uh, things of that nature. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, and then, of course, Sun is also present there. So Sun, sun is considered to be debilitated in Libra. Even though Sun's exact point is uh, 20 de- well, uh, 10 degrees of Libra, which, has, which Sun has already crossed right now, uh, you could still consider Sun to be the planet of ego who is, or identity who is trying to find the identity through relationships or through the other person uh, based on the natural zodiac. So Venus is now moving to 7th house which will also further support the sun. But now the, but the tendency also needs to be washed out for uh, asserting your own ego upon the relationships. You know, so sun-venus energy is also um, a conjunction of planets with different agendas. So Sun is the Sun is the planet with the agenda of asserting its own individuality where Venus is the planet of uh, really asking what can I do for you. <laughs> Whereas Sun is the planet of saying this is who I am. So there is that uh, agenda that, is, uh, that can become more prominent right now. So that is one thing to watch out for. Um, but really uh, the Venus junction should be very uh, interesting uh, along with the Sun uh, angle. Uh, because, um, and I, I know you will be talking about nakshatras, but I'm just curious about what you think about uh, the Venus uh, Sun conjunction acting as uh, Puro Falguni nakshatra energy and the Venus Jupiter conjunction acting as uh, Puro Ashara nakshatra energy or even Vishaga nakshatra energy. No, I think it's, it's fascinating that we're talking about these conjunctions, um, Santip. And um, what one of the sense that I get from these transits is basically they are going to show you certain themes that are going to be more prominent. Uh, for example, what I say is, as you said, you know, when S- Sun and Venus are going to come together and Sun is supposed to make Venus combust, right? And if you look at the, the Dasha Avtar, and you have to interpret it uh, differently when you say about Dasha Avtar is the, the 10 incarnations of Vishnu. And uh, in Brahat Parashara Hora Shastra, Venus has been connected to Parushara, the incarnation of Vishnu. And Sun has been connected to um, uh, Lord Sri Ram. Okay, And we have to remember the mythological story is when Parushara and uh, you know, uh, Ram, when he broke the Pinaka bow. Okay? And when Parushara comes raging inside the you know, Janak Rai, Janak, uh, the king Janaka is the father of uh, Sita. And when he comes there, he stands in front of uh, Lord Sri Ram and Lord Sri Ram just absorbs all that energy okay, and leaves him with, uh, he takes all his arrogance, his anger, everything. So there is this sense of transformation which is going to come into many people's life because sun is the karaka for the soul, the atma. okay, And that's Lord Sri Ram. And you see Venus when it comes, it becomes asta. Asta means it becomes combust. right? So some of the themes that you would see would, during this transit is firstly you as you mentioned um, because it's moving through Chitra Nakshatra and because of the con- uh, the conjunction coming also in terms of uh, Venus and Sun together which is as you mentioned uh, that is uh, Puru Falguni um, there would be a lot of uh, you know people going out partying you know rejoicing but eventually they will feel completely drained out there will be disinterest there because Venus energy is going to be, uh, you know, burned. So um, people will find that because it's his own Mula Trikona, which is his head office of Venus, uh, a lot of people would be interested over the next couple of days, over the next five, six days, they would see a lot of interest in uh, jewelry, design, um, you know, uh, even home decoration. People will be more interested in uh, looking at, um, the well-being of their children because Chitra Nakshatra is also about wanting to have uh, offsprings, you know, to have wonderful children. 
So this is a time for people who are always been wanting to have children. This might be a good time for you for the next uh, five to six days when Venus is uh, transiting in Chitra Nakshatra. And you will see a lot of people going shopping, wanting to buy jewelry, want to buy bright color clothing, um, you know, architecture, artwork, um, you know, home decor, changing the furniture at home because seventh house is also about business. A lot of business activities will happen. A lot of commerce, um, you know, creativity, handicrafts, all of these. So these will be more heightened during Venus transit. And sun is currently uh, in at around 16 degrees. Um, so it's going to, whenever Venus is going to come and conjoin um, with the, the sun, that's when you feel all of these energies would be rather drained out for many of these people. So they will start, will start with this Venus transit on a very high with all those beautiful things of uh, arrogance and everything. And eventually you see this arrogance, ego, everything just keep uh, goes and melts off, you know, during the, the, the middle of the month. So any more things that you wanted to add? Yeah, one thing was, um, uh, it was, what I was thinking was that uh, uh, since Venus is the, um, it's, it's a technical question, like uh, maybe uh, you could say that sun, since Venus is behind the sun and sun is moving uh, faster than Venus, uh, you can, um, one thing, can you also interpret this uh, nakshatra conjunction, this yeah. conjunction as the yeah. nakshatra as well? Because it was, it will be, Kritika nakshatra is holding a Venus, uh, you know, Taurus Rashi, and then it's also ruled by the sun. So is that also possible? That was one question I had. With Yeah, the, I think that's very beautiful that you mentioned about that. And especially when you talk about uh, Kritika, that's on the Taurus side we're talking about, you know. Right. The sun and Venus uh, combination when we talk about and uh, you know Taurus, and uh, because you mentioned about uh, you know uh, Chitra Nakshatra, so Chitra Nakshatra is also about getting form and getting beauty, and you know also about connected to the pearl. So this is something that you need to really dive deeper, and Venus is going to say you can bring out the creativity when you really dive deeper into the ocean and um, pearl is actually formed um, when there is irritation okay that's how pearl right. is formed when the oyster is irritated and as a result of that the oyster is formed so venus moving there will definitely bring in more shape more structure into people's lives um, it is also going to uh, bring in beauty uh, compassion all of these things but it also is going to heighten because as you mentioned, you know, this is also Puru Falguni. Puru Falguni will also um, bring in a lot of uh, relationships, which would be, you know, high voltage relationships. You'd suddenly meet somebody at a, uh, at a nightclub or a party and then things will, you know, suddenly flare up and things will start looking very well. But over the month, what you would see is um, the energy levels will start dropping or dwindling. That's what I would probably see from. So again, uh, Santip, we really need to look at transits even with specific to our chart. This is very, very generic right. things that we're talking about. Right. Okay. right. Or people who, uh, you can see more women would be taking center stage now. Right. Uh, women yep. will come out very stronger. Women will, you would see more women leaders coming out and, uh, you know, making headlines on newspapers. Uh, many women will also um, be interested in um, investing their time into creativity or even, I would say, uh, over the next five to six days when Venus is in Chitra, you would find that women would be fighting against a very powerful opponent. And this would be right. a very, very strong theme that I would say Venus will fight against a very strong opponent because Chitra is Vishwakarma and Vishwakarma had to fight um, you know, a strong opponent, uh, I mean, Vitrasur had to fight a strong opponent like Indra. Right. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's true because that's already happening uh, since Venus moved into Chitra in the Virgo side also. Because there was a lot of news in Hollywood and, uh, you know, a lot of women coming out and uh, sharing tales of exploitation and things of that nature. 
you know so a lot of women now i think it's going to take more simple as you mentioned for sure so so dr pai what do you think about venus moving into swati nakshatra so where it is where it will also conjoin uh, Ju- jupiter see that is going to be a very good combination because that again will show you uh, the themes of uh, purvashara you know right and it is bringing together two teachers with different uh, you know one is brahaspati okay the the high priest of the gods and then you have venus which is guru shukracharya so there would be a certain interest in um, people wanting to learn about occult sciences uh, there is also about freedom of movement people would take uh, would travel overseas foreign travels um, people would want to be more independent would want to take uh, a pit stop and then revisit what are the things which have been happening over the last couple of months in their life and they want to set their things uh, right so i would say there would be more structure which would come in whenever uh, jupiter is going to move towards uh, venus and venus right. moving towards jupiter also could show you that many um, women will get attracted to uh, people who are in leadership positions uh, teachers gurus you know that sort of uh, a theme would be more 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 women wanting to go to astrologers um, more people wanting to take advice from um, you know and also interest in occult right well so i think uh, you know swati uh, you mentioned swati is also connected with shoes and slippers so yeah. there will be a lot of shoe sales going oh, yeah. on there will be a lot of shoe sales and people wanting to buy shoes and i would say right. definitely people would start accumulating shoes during this right. period there would be an explosion people would buy five six pairs of shoes over the next <laughs> month or so right uh, also uh, also uh, swati is also to viral media uh, as you mentioned before so maybe this time also there will be more viral media uh, i was actually hoping to see there might be some viral movies some viral new youtube viral videos that might come up uh, during this time <laughs> when venus moves over uh, swati nakshatra probably because of the viral video connection with swati um and uh, also you mentioned uh, purva shada which is uh, uh, it's also the uh, declaration of war theme so even though you have that um, even though venus is in rashi of diplomacy you have the you, you there might still be tendency to have long arguments with relationships eh? probably potentially with uh, purva shada but uh, how would you say that uh, dr pai how do you uh, i would say, say see, you know uh, i would see a lot of people traveling you know going to right. exotic locations wanting to take going to bali going to thailand especially right. Uh, right. towards the beaches you know right. wanting to move towards uh, and that would be a good getaway for many people when venus is going to come closer to um uh, to uh, jupiter jupiter right. okay but right. venus being hemmed between uh, jupiter and sun is going to be a very interesting uh, phenomenon for for many and especially in the government you would see a lot of uh, scams coming out uh, many people would feel that uh, a lot of information which was hidden from the people uh there would be more whistle blowers i would definitely say more information which was uh, hidden from the the common man i think those uh, many secret documents will also be released so you would see a lot of these activities which will happen and people would also would love to have exotic food um you know um also air travel will be very prominent Uh, people would be more interested as as jupiter and venus come very close people would be more interested in uh, taking up aerobics um you know pranayama yoga interest in yoga traveling shoes electronic items buying of iphone you know people would want to buy iphone now you know i would say i, right. I don't want to promote iphone but i would say something which is very sleek which is very trendy you know many right. people who have put off the plans to buy Uh, modern gadgets will want to buy modern gadgets but basically um, i would say something so, this would be yeah. a very transformation period for uh, for for many people uh, many people would want to uh, and you you would also see uh, uh, many people who would want to be very independent and also people would look for perfection 
and uh, the work that they're doing. And you see many, uh, many businesses which are going to start during this period, they would have very uh, tenuous beginnings. But eventually when Venus is going to come and join with Jupiter and was going to move forward, that's when they will see more strength coming in their own businesses. Right. Uh, don't you also, also I'm, I remember you mentioned that uh, in Swati, there is the tendency to get scattered. Yeah. Uh, because of why you connection. So uh, how would you say, what would you describe about that? I would say, see, one of the things I would definitely say a lot of, uh, as you said, viral videos. Okay. Uh, right. You would be bombarded with uh, information or you would be getting a lot of uh, spam mails, uh, marketing thing, right. you, your phones, your mobile equipment, all of them will be having a lot of messages from friends, uh, from people that you have not even met them for many years, suddenly will start contacting you. So all these themes will start. And also I've seen, you know, when this co uh, combination comes, you will also start multitasking. Okay, right. people, people will also look for, um, uh, you know, different ways of communicating with others. Uh, you, would, you, would, you, would, you, would, you would meet up with friends that you have never met for a very long period of time. It brings, also, it can bring in a level of uh, changeability and restlessness also. And people who are who want to seek knowledge, because see, um, Swati is also the nakshatra of Saraswati. So right. there would be suddenly uh, an interest in people wanting to learn more, wanting to take up courses, uh, wanting to learn about, say, for example, nakshatras. Because see, these two nakshatras, Chitra and Swati, are... Uh, is a speaker or spiker and uh, uh, Arcturus. So you will right. see um, people who have knee related problems, they would see some problems with the knees might also aggravate. So these are some of the themes that I would say you could see with, uh, but still I would say this is very generic. But what are the right, themes yeah. that you see from Swati Santhi? Um, Swati, definitely a lot of interest in music, for sure. Musical instruments, music, people who want to study music will begin to study music because he has a veena. Uh, people will be signing up for a lot more courses, for sure. Uh, you know, sudden interest in education. Uh, even with Chitra, Chitra can also be connected with robotics. So there might be interest in robotics coming up. Um, that is one thing, actually, I would say. Uh, even like Venus transiting through robotics, you might have a robot, you know, which is clean your home. The smart robot vacuum cleaner, that could be one thing uh, we say with uh, Chitra. Um, also, with Swati, say, definitely. Yeah, I would also yeah. think, Santip, you know, that's a good point you're mentioning. And Venus is also the Karaka for vehicles. So many people would want to, uh, you know, buy new vehicles, right. you know, uh, right. want to upgrade their vehicles. They want to discard their old uh, things and want to buy. So you see a lot of uh, buying. There would be a lot of, of uh, marketing on the streets, trying to upsell cross-sell some of their services. It's going to be, you know, a lot of marketing that you would see. Right. Across right. social media, um, everybody. Yeah. So also with uh, Venus in uh, Swati, I think uh, more coaches, as you mentioned, a lot more women's coaches coming up um, because, you know, uh, Hanuman needed a coach, right? So like uh, to remind him. So like a lot of women will need to be reminded or a lot of coaches will come in to play where you know, they are reminding people of their own gifts because Hanuman forgot his and, uh, you know, he would have um, his gifts by um, um, uh, Jambo and the beer-headed being. So, yeah. that is one one interesting thing with Swati. But uh, what about uh, Vishaga, Dr. Uh, Dr. Pai? Like, so, we'll transit over into Vishaga sometime, uh, you know, uh, sometime before, uh, between 15th or so. Yeah, so, I, th I think it will be moving into uh, Vishaka on the 19th. 19th, okay. okay yeah, right. 19th is when Venus is going to move into Vishaka. But uh, there's another thing that I also wanted to say. A lot of people would be interested in, um, during this transit of Venus, you would see a lot of people interested uh, in Swati. You would see a lot of people interested in personal health, uh, you know, self-help groups, looking for therapies, uh, right. you know, Ayurveda, right. Ayurveda uh, homeopathy. Right. Pranic healing, Vicky, these are some of the themes that I would definitely say would be quite right. prominent. But when it moves definitely. into yeah. when it moves into uh, Vishaka, it's it's uh, a sign when Venus 
will start trying to bring more focus you know uh, many of the decisions which were split they might want to bring together uh, although you would see uh, a lot of decision making there would be decision paralysis also okay right um and then i would say there would be um this is another team that i would have to say when venus is going to go through um, libra largely there would be a uh, huge increase in people wanting to have pro probiotics like you know curds right you know, um wanting to have milk related products um right you know people who are wanting to have more calcium in the body there would be a deficiency more people milk related products like for in india like paneer you know paneer would be the favorite food right. if you go to a restaurant people would want to uh, have paneer you know paneer tikka paneer makhani whatever so right um, then curds and yogurt different flavored yogurts all of these would be you know people would love to have more of uh, you know salads and you know, a um, lot of green vegetables and all of that right So, so what's your Vishaga, what's, what, do you, what do you what do you feel with the Venus going into Vishaka? Vishaka definitely a lot of oily food. <laughs> People yeah. want to have a lot of food. They'll put more ghee into their food, you know, because it's Agni connection. Agni. They also yes. yeah. Uh, also the Indra connection. There will be a lot more. Uh, uh achievement oriented uh, people uh, people who are trying to get into you know they'll be trying so hard right now there will be a lot of uh, you know uh, many people who will be interested to passing uh, creating their own triumphal arches as they would say yes. so the, so university is a natural arch even i would say even uh, one way of beautifying their home they might consider to arch to create an arch within their home that would be one way to beautify their home um, also like uh, with vishaga again there is the split choice as you mentioned the split personality uh, or or the dimorphic pair of indra and agni so there might be this uh, uh, this decision paralysis which i would like as you as, as you actually mentioned aptly mentioned but uh, one simple and this is also one more uh, question i had uh, dr pai before we move over to mercury so one simple remedy for vishaga is definitely a uh, i've seen that these natives will have a par paralysis between one choice and the other choice so and i've seen that sometimes the best is, best option for them is to pursue both the choices at the same time because they are uniquely capable of handling both the choices at the same time they are because one choice will be the logical choice and other choice will be the right brain choice and they'll be in a position where they can handle both the hemispheres of the you know uh, handling both the choices so uh, so what what are the simple remedies you would uh, recommend for uh, venus uh, transit du during november month see venus uh, traveling to libra and vishaka i would say you know it's more about bringing balance in your in your life you know even right. when you are in vishaka even though you have uh, this it's also venus moving to vishaka see venus is also the karaka for um, because venus gets exalted in the, the natural 12th house right right and so you see a lot of people will strive for uh, you know bringing this um, uh, dichotomy or dichotomy of the left brain and the right brain so right. you feel a lot of because see agni will bring in more uh, intellectual things and right. uh, you know indra will bring in more supremacy and that sort of things and one more thing i would definitely say when Uh, venus comes into vishaka there would be more people partying and lot of alcohol lot of rejoicing because you know both right. indra and agni are uh, right. you know they they rejoice on lot of soma drinking so right. when it is there on um, you know in vishaka you'd see a lot of rejoicing happening during the first pada but during the second pada then it would be very mixed people will go right. little bit into depression people would right. because they have really had too much of partying that they do so when the second pada right. is activated it's also the ashtamamsha pada but it's also the pushkaranamamsha pada right so what happens right. is you get some mixed results during that period when venus uh, uh, you know moves in there so right. i would i would say it's going to be a great time and people would try, like to also try different sort of cuisines you know you would find people want to suddenly find interest in cooking you know agni is also connected to cooks and you know you want to try different cuisines that would be something a theme that i would say 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Seems like I lost you for a bit. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah. And as you mentioned, so I, you know, yeah. a lot of people will want to travel to uh, great temples. I think we just uh, lost something there. But I would definitely. Okay. There is a. Okay. Yeah, I think we just we just lost you for a, a while. I think you know. Um, I would also definitely say uh, people would want to attend many weddings. Uh, people would want right. to go back to university, wanting to learn uh, a new new subject or something like that. So, I think that these are the themes that I would predominantly see for Venus moving and people wanting to uh, learn about uh, music or see. You know, because of Vishaka, Venus, when it moves there, people would want to, uh, will will be in this state when they want to learn not one form of uh, thing, they would want to learn two things at the same time. Right. Like you mentioned. Right. That is always going to be there. Right. But it's good that they pursue both. Because eventually, right. those, those things will merge and will give them better results. Right. Yeah, well, uh, this was uh, great for Venus and Libra. Definitely, we covered it in depth with all the nakshatras and uh, conjunctions for sure. Uh, thing, uh, is there anything more, uh, Dr. Pai, in terms of remedies or anything you would like to add yes, here for each of the nakshatras? So, um, you know, when, when things are moving through Chitra, I think it is always uh, better to, um, you know, take a step back and to focus on what are the major changes that you want to bring, you know, uh, structurally in your life, because Vishwakarma is the shaper, and we would see a lot of people wanting to go to the gym, you know, to shape up their bodies. Venus right. is about beauty, and suddenly you will feel a uh, wanting to go on when it comes into uh, uh, when it comes into Swati, it's like uh, you you wanting to shed more weight because it's, it's why you, so you would want to do some activities which would keep you active, um, you know, aerobics, uh, go for a jog, um, definitely because shoe and sports shoes. I think many people would buy right. a sports shoe and want to go for a jog or for a run or a walk or whatever. Right. You suddenly see right. doing that. Health right. will be, a, a, you know, a great focus for many people. Right. Also so going to get a good uh, doctor's advice for sure. And but definitely the best time to get advice, any kind of health advice for sure, yes, because health, of the, both advice. the gurus exactly. are... Both the gurus are together. Yeah. Exactly. I would say so. Right. Okay. Okay, uh, Dr. Pai, I think that's good for Venus. Uh, uh, let's move to the next planet, <laughs> which is uh, Mercury in uh, Scorpio. So Mercury is in Scorpio right now. It will be there in Scorpio until the 20th of November. So Scorpio is a natural eighth house of occult, you know, natural of uh, death, rebirth, you know, even sexuality, even like uh, sexual scandals, even other people's money. So uh, you have astrology, all the occult sciences, numerology, all that uh, playing out as well in, in Scorpio. And uh, definitely this will be a good time. Uh, and since Mercury is also the Karka for Vidya, so this would also be a good time to simply take classes and study astrology or simply occult sciences. So even studying how to deal with the finances for simple simplicity. Um, like Mercury is also, you know, even though it is Mercury is a benefic planet, it is transiting to through an enemy sign, I would say, uh, with Mars in Scorpio. So it is like, uh, it, but in, this transit is actually going to trigger this exchange between Mercury and Mars. So you can see Mars is in Virgo and Mercury is in Scorpio. So this exchange will also be triggered. So now you have Mercury, which is documents, papers, and all of that messages. You have Mars, which is the sudden events, more you know, sharp, critical uh, energy to it, uh, which has got a critical, sharp energy to it. So now you might have sudden events happening. Uh, definitely don't text and drive, for sure. Definitely also, you know, when you are signing up any paperwork, pay extra attention. This is also Vipreet, uh, this is also Parivartan Yoga, so it, it can help in reduce changing many long-term uh, problems which you have been facing also, because it's the exchange between the natural 6th Lord and 8th Lord. So that will help out with many uh, many of the, help out with work routines, even, even this is an excellent time to have a routine, workout routine for sure, as Dr. Pai mentioned before. 
um an excellent again an excellent way to time to even uh, study us because of the exchange and the planets that are in exchange is also mars and mercury so mars is the natural eighth lord and uh, you know there is an occult side to mars and then mercury is also the uh, you know the planet that is dealing with logic and stuff definitely it is an excellent time period for engineers um, tech entrepreneurs all of all those group of people for sure they can solve big problems uh, which seem to be impossible before for sure um, though even though the path won't be easy they will still be able to solve many problems um, so and yeah definitely uh, mercury in scorpio will uh, help in uncovering lot more secrets so a lot of secret messages will definitely come out a uh, lot of uh, unexpected messages will definitely come out unexpected friend might end up messaging you think so that nature could have for sure again here um but yeah dr pai i think to you. you know that's a this very good point you're mentioning and i'll also say there would be a heightened amount of communication and a lot of resolutions which will happen right. and a lot of disputes which are there i think that will get resolved um many of the, the you know the communication related issues that you must have had with a friend or with a relative or with a near or dear one um you know um, mercury is going to move into anuradha nakshatra on the 5th of november and it's going to be in anuradha till the the 13th of uh, november and after that on the 14th it's going to move into jaystar so during this period the 5th to 13th is a very good time for people wanting to go and forge relationships or uh, wanting to you know settle uh, some uh, issue and also i would say uh, mercury is karaka even for commerce so you would see during this period and it's 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 very surprising a lot of insurance companies will be in prominence whether it is uh, you know general insurance medical insurance uh, companies a lot of uh, you know insurance companies are wanting to go um, at least in india i know there are there are three companies which are going public you know these are private insurance companies wanting to go public so suddenly insurance is something that will be more uh, a lot of trading will happen uh, in these stocks related to insurance and also products related to um, communication you know right in, in terms of phones and also i would say a lot of people will be using um you know applications which will which is very common today you know um of connecting with people so social media with a could be usually you would see a lot of thing happening on social media right so also with anuradha it's also the friendly friends nakshatra the mitra nakshatra so definitely mitra. uh what you mentioned about uh, you know social media occult friends all of that are very relevant so one uh, again with the companies again you can say petroleum companies even because uh, scorpio is also connected with petroleum oil and gas companies i would say i've seen yes. that um, yeah. and definitely uh, so you see a lot of oil marketing companies doing well because venus uh, i mean uh, anuradha is also ruled by uh, saturn and vimshok sasha system right and mercury coming right. there a lot of trade and commerce related to um, you know oil marketing companies or oil drilling companies um you know i can see a lot of information i mean even um people wanting to go to uh, you know for a, for a holiday for a vacation short vacation short travel to um places like um, you know holy places to go for a holy dip or you know holy springs or you know water bodies which are stagnant and also a lot right. of information um will come related to uh, jyotish i would say because eighth house natural eighth house a lot of research work will come out a lot of new material right. will come out uh, a lot of right. communication will happen a lot of more people will be interested in understanding deeper about occult sciences right definitely a lot more new partnerships also forming because of uh, yes. mitra agreement and things of that nature so ex researchers for sure <laughs> so i'm looking forward to this and, <laughs> and then you will see a lot of uh, uh you know a lot of astrologers doing a lot of videos on youtube you know collaborating right. with you know a lot of people wanting to come and do videos um a lot of information will come out during this time right um wait so then mercury moves on nakshatra and jeshta so what do you think will happen then dr pai 
uh, then I would say there would be uh, some element of uh, miscommunication which will happen in uh, political circles. There would suddenly be an uh, increase in the standoff that you see in the world crisis that is happening in North Korea. So there would be a sort of a, uh, a difficult, and that would be, I would, I would rather say, when it moves into um, JSTA on, uh, on the 14th. So between 14th and 24th, for 10 days, you you know, um, you would see suddenly uh, the markets, the world markets, the world scenario suddenly trying to be, uh, trying to uh, come to grips. There would be fear psychosis, there would be supremacy, there would be statements given by political leaders, which will bring a little bit of instability across the world in terms of what is going to happen. Okay, But I think largely you would see that can be resolved by peaceful means, but you know, but that would be a question mark. I would say so. You would see heightened um, a volley of words going between uh, a lot of uh, politicians and you know world leaders. Are you there, Sandeep? I think I we must have lost him here. Also, what I would, what I would also say, yeah. Sandeep, I would just—I think have, we lost you there. But um, what I would also say during right. this uh, period, whenever you see, uh, you know, Mercury going through Anuradha Nakshatra, I would say there would be a lot of uh, restructuring happening in many organizations. A lot of uh, interdepartmental movements which will happen for people. Uh, there would be a lot of. Um, uh, restructuring that might be seen, you know, people wanting to take up new roles or different. So the, these are the common themes that I would say. And uh, for especially people working in the technology and telecommunication industry, uh, there would be a huge interest in uh, security related issues, you know, network security, um, security related to even the national security and all of these would be of uh, great interest to many leaders. There will be but a lot of political thinkers, uh, think tanks will come, they'll express their opinion about national security. Even in companies, it'll, they'll talk about the security of, uh, you know, um, probably you could also see when Mercury is going to move into JSTA, there would be uh, a lot of uh, hacking that might happen. Uh, exactly. A lot of right. people wanting yeah. to steal data, you know, government data. There might be some whistleblowers who will come and, uh, you know, like the WikiLeaks, there might be some, some, uh, you know, some hacked information, um, you know, uh, national secrets or something which will be revealed to the world. Right. What, what, is, what, what, what is your yeah. thing that you see in... Uh, right. So uh, I, I think that there'll be... Uh, underworld dawns might face uh, communication issues <laughs> yes. because uh, Mercury is in Jeshta and Jeshta is more the Indra who is the, you could say, who is like the dawn, dawn figures. So people who have been hidden behind the scenes might have to suddenly deal with sudden unexpected events for sure. Uh, definitely that CEOs, the power brokers, um, there, is some, there can be some media exposure, as you mentioned, uh, with, their, uh, with their for sure. Also with uh, Mercury being in Jeshta, even though it's in so Nakshatra, there is also this uh, element of deep uh, occult secrets. A lot of uh, deep researches can be done here. So a lot more secrets in terms of occult uh, knowledge may also come forward for sure. Excellent time for spiritual transformation, spiritual practices. Even very uh, excellent time for doing penances even uh, with yes. regard to, because Indra would do penances to accomplish his goal. Uh, excellent time even to obtain a spiritual object even, I would say, like, uh, you know, a ring or whatever, you know, uh, no, um, just a spiritual object uh, or maybe like some blessed object because uh, Indra got uh, Vajrayud from uh, uh, the Dichi Rishi. So yes. there can be, there can be correspondingly, there can be a lot of gambling tendency, a lot more people might uh, lose money on stocks because they are gambling yes. because uh, that, can, that could also happen here. Um, Again, with uh, Mercury and Jeshta, um, Indra is also, uh, you know, chasing other wives of Rishis. So, yes. you know, chances for that can also increase. So, you know, that is also one more thing to be wary of. 
um and yeah then uh, definitely it will reach closer to the gantanda point so the it will reach kind of uh, at, at scorpio with mercury when it reaches the last path of jeshta it has already entered into the gantanda zone so then it is uh, going to bring about a different sense of purification uh, at least spiritual cleansing so a lot of karmas could be more released during that time so it will be a very important time to make sure that you have all the backup and all that stuff uh, you know all the computers backed up and all your security is uh, you know loopholes cleared up during that time for sure because uh, gantada can be a intense point of pressure where there can be a lot of purification of karma so that should be a uh, uh, should be a time excellent time for spiritual practices um yeah that's that's what i have dr pai yeah i also think i think people when um, it is moving through jester people have to be careful about their communication they shouldn't be using heart heart speech uh they right. should uh, also i would say many of your um, uh, communication equipments especially your your earphones or your ear things whatever related to the ears might go faulty or there might be some issues right. with that there might be issues right. with the uh, internet connection uh right. you know connectivity all of these things uh, i think definitely will be and i would also say whenever mercury is in jester you would also see um for certain people there would be some issues even with their roofs roofs of the houses right. there would be you know some issue cracks or something that you need to pay attention to um, right yeah. that, is, that is something that i would definitely say right um so what are some simple remedies for mercury transit through each of these uh, scorpio nakshatras i think uh, more about internalization is important when mercury is going through this you know you should go deeper into understanding yourself and understanding you know um, sciences which for example jyotish jyotish would be a great thing to learn so it's uh, even though people would want to come out and share but whenever it goes into jester that's the time when you really want to reflect upon um, your own methods your own techniques your own principles and trying to see it could be of any subject i think that's the thing to maintain uh, you know silence and exp- uh, it should, you know maintaining silence and taking cognizance that there is inner strength within you and through that strength you would be able to do um, a lot more when mercury is going through so you know through these right. and on, also i would say you have to be very careful uh, with the relationships whenever mercury is going through um jeshta nakshatra okay so you have to practice a safe means of relationships i would really say because see mercury is an illegitimate child who is born from the union right. of you know moon right and so when it goes through jester and knowing the qualities of indra so you'll have to be extra cautious right, okay. right. and right. i would say there would be maybe there would be an uh, outburst in um you know sexual related diseases also right definitely it's also the sixth lord and eighth lord uh, exchange exactly. so definitely that's right so that's sexual right. diseases definitely sexual, sexual related diseases so people have to be very right. very cautious i think these are some of the key things that i wanted to share right uh, just to add on to that finally um, uh, just uh, since mercury transit through vishaga definitely good time to study cooking <laughs> yeah even because vishaga is indra and agni and also okay. when mercury is transiting through andhradha it would be a good time even to uh, engage in devotional uh, practices because andhradha is also devotional uh nakshatra a simple practice of devotion simple routine of having a devotion simple that would be an excellent time and finally when mercury transit through jeshta uh, you know uh, like a, a good time to logically solve all your insecurities through routines and through uh, dealing with uh, regular habits because uh, jeshta was the sister who was jealous of her uh, younger sister rohini so you have that jealousy factor coming into play which mercury can actually help in uh, getting rid of also so and, and just to add to yeah. that i think uh, another great uh, theme when mercury is going to be is you would see that more people would be more egoistic in their speech and very right. arrogant i think that is something that you really need to pay attention to is to be very humble right. 
humility is something that mercury is trying to teach you okay and this would be a very great time for you to uh, if you always said that you wanted to buy uh, or you wanted to wear some amulets or some protective charm or you wanted to start chanting mantras or whatever you know this was a great time whenever mercury is in jaisa nakshatra is to start uh, chanting mantras or taking initiation for starting uh, you know something new from any teacher any guru or any mentor i think that would be the great thing and respect your mentor when mercury is going through um, you know jaisa nakshatra jaisa yeah yeah right don't don't disrespect any any teacher any guru if that happens i think that is really going to bring a break in your communication and also bring in um some element of uh, uh, I, i would say imbalance in right. your health as well so be very right. because in, about, exactly yeah because indra was uh, cursed indra disrespected his guru brahaspati and then had this whole uh, downturn downside of events <laughs> Yeah. Don't turn of events happen to him. So yeah. And so and and so he disrespected him on Durvasa. Wow. Okay. Durvasa, right. Where he was cursed again. Right. So you don't want to get uh, any. And this might be a good time for you to even, uh, you know, uh, go into deep meditative states to uh, rem- remove um, any negativity directed towards you. Evil eye, right. especially. that would be a great right. time to to dispel all of that and then to focus more on um learning new areas um and whatever you wanted to go and do deep research into uh is there any simple uh, solution for evil eye you would recommend dr pai any I simple think, solution yeah see, one of the see what happens is today a lot of people are into spirituality if somebody is watching this video and they are interested in jyotish they want to la, la, a lot of people would protect um, their chakras from here down to your uh, solar plexus but your uh, the bottom two chakras are left open which is your swadhisthana and your muladhara muladhara is a foundation so one of the first things that you need to know is to control your indriyas in indra is about controlling your indriyas your, right your senses second thing okay. is to focus more energy on cleansing your uh, swadhisthana and your muladhara so grounding yourself you know prayers to lord ganapati is supposed to be very beneficial when you when you pray to lord ganesha that's when your muladhara and also jupiter jupiter is you know the ruler of uh, your swadhisthana chakra so i think these are the two great remedies that i would suggest to people and there are other remedies if people are wanting to really protect them is to um, you know um, put sandalwood paste on the uh, on the navel so that that protects that chakra so that there is no negative or evil intentions of people coming towards you right yeah well yeah thank you dr pai i think those was definitely helpful uh, definitely the remedies part uh, uh, for sure but yeah i think that's the end <laughs> yeah as the end of what we have in store today yeah you know i think this was a very great uh, intense discussion that we have had with santip i think um, you know people have seen transit very differently they would have seen it only from the rashi perspective from each but here i'm you know we just uh, tried or attempt or attempted to bring in a different flavor giving them the flavor of nakshatras and the deities especially i think most of the right. themes will play out from there and once you know the karakatvas of these planets you know mercury is also the karaka for your uncle right okay, see see the life of your uncle venus is the karaka for you know your uh, your spouse or your partner it could be a business right. partner venus is also the right. karaka for vehicles look at or what are those things how are those things going to be impacted you know um so relationships uh you know um that is one of the things communication um 6000 is also about debts you know the natural right. karaka for debts and right um it's going through 
so many people would buy insurances also because when mercury is going to be going through these nakshatras they would buy policies right. insurance policies for health insurance policies uh, for you know so i think a lot of expenditure will happen in these areas yeah even even dealing with uh, you know our real estate or even real to the estate. point oh, of oh god there is some that's a very yeah. good point you mentioned mercury going through um, uh, you know this whole sign i would say a lot of real estate dealings right you know people would make a lot of money through real estate dealings when mercury is going through this you know especially right. um, j stand and rather a lot of contracts would be signed right right okay. yeah so, yeah uh, yeah so great, great, uh, great this is a great doctor Bye. this yeah. is great santip thank you very much i think we um, you know we would be doing more such videos on the transits and please share your feedback uh, in the comment section we want to see you know what are these teams which are operating even though we know that transits um, videos are very popular with people but we want to know about what are the you know these are very generic these are very general okay but we want to see how we are going to observe these transits very closely we are going to look at world events and the, the other thing i would like people to do as a way of understanding these transits is to preempt what would be the news in the newspaper the next day based on the transits what would be the most potential uh, or probable things that you would want to see on the on the so i think that is one way of trying to learn so the, what what makes the headlines what was the most prominent uh, event of that day and how are these planets influencing you know these events which are happening so it's not only the moon you know and the nakshatras but other planets are also going to contribute so let's observe and let's study and let us uh, see you know um, how these transits are going to impact us so but i think this was a great discussion so thank you thank you so sure. much great namaste yeah thank you dr pai yeah namaste